So we worked with the engineering team here at Mayo, who are extraordinarily talented and actually have aerosol expertise to understand how well our separation works from one another in terms of protection and risk for transmission of COVID. We tested a couple things. One was how important it is to be separate from one another. We know the CDC guidance is six feet, so we wanted to measure how well did that work. So we measured particle counts as, as we stepped out to six foot at one foot intervals. And what we found is CDC guidance is good. Six foot has an important impact in terms of the number of particles that might be transmitted from anyone that might not be wearing a mask. We also found three foot an improvement. So any separation that we, we make is very important. The second part was really to understand how well masks work. And so the team set up experiments that measured particle counts with and without masks. And so we simulated what, what it might be like if someone had COVID and wasn't wearing a mask, what's the risk and how many particles are transmitted to somebody that has a mask on. We looked at whether or not the disposable masks that we see and, and use in the hospital and the cloth masks that patients are wearing and that many clinicians are wearing you know, outside of direct patient contact they work the same. We couldn't tell a difference between them uh, when we tried to make those measurements. So both are effective. We found objectively that masks are critically important. They're very effective at protecting the people around you. If you're wearing a mask, you're protecting others. If they're wearing masks, they're protecting you. I think also what we found is you know, social situations where we get really close to one another and we're unmasked, that's when those risks really go up. Um, so the guidance from the CT CDC now is, is good. You know, that separation and masking are very important. This is an experimental study uh, where it's emulating uh, the production of droplet by a mannequin and another mannequin that is masked. I think we had some knowledge about the importance of masks. There's been a number of studies that showed masks are effective in reducing a lot of viruses, including uh, uh, SARS-CoV-2. Uh, what's important is how effective masking is and how masking alone, if done by both parties, you really don't need to have that physical distance. If both parties are masked, you, you are both, you know, the, the, the exposed party is protected. Um, and, and that's really the key uh, in this study. Um, really highlighting again how important masking is. Masking is simple but doing it all the time is important because this is a virus uh, that is transmitted predominantly through droplets um, and we are all very susceptible to it because we've never been exposed to this type of virus. That makes it easy to propagate. Uh, so uh, if, if we are all wear a mask and we do it consistently, that really could halt or slow down the transmission significantly uh, within the community as well as in our hospitals. Another important piece of the study is that they looked at various types of masks, including surgical masks, cloth masks, layered masks, and it's really more about the, the, the wearing a mask as opposed to the type of mask. Um, there were no differences between a surgical mask and a cloth mask. Um, which has been shown in other studies too. So this is really documenting this, that it's more about compliance with the mask as opposed to the type of mask used.